Hey, thank you for watching. My name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a business and branding strategist and we are at the end. We have one month left this year. 2020 has been what a year. We have encountered and been pushed to our limits. We have seen such heartbreak and devastation in our country and our world due to this pandemic. We have seen businesses that have been impacted and even complete industries that have been nearly wiped out. So in this setting and with all that we've been through, it is so challenging to dare to envision or dream about a better 2021. I don't know what 2021 is going to hold, but I do have an enormous amount of hope that even and because of the things that we've been through, that we are going to be able to flourish, to persevere, to grow through our experience. We talk often in business about the push, right? What it takes to push through. And I want you to know that push is not a state of existence, right? That's not your entire day, your entire month, your entire year cannot only be push. Push is short and measured. So do you still have push left in you? I have no doubt that you do. Let's not make the mistake in thinking that the push we have left in us is going to take years or months or even days. Let's be deliberate about when we push and for how long. Let's be really measured about that. And let's give ourselves a vision for why we are pushing. If you don't know why you're pushing, then you're just being frustrated and you're beholden to the push, which is not a good feeling. I want to encourage you to give yourself space this month to allow yourself to look back at 2020, acknowledge where maybe you've been hurt, maybe you've been frustrated, maybe you've been out of ways, right? Out of ideas of why or what is even going on. But allow yourself to recognize that we have made it through this year somehow. Allow yourself to know that there's more to come, more learning, more understanding, more clarity. Allow yourself to create a new goal, a new vision for 2021. One of the things that I think has happened to me and my team and even my family is so many things have gone on personally, professionally, myself, my clients, that it's become a little bit scary to allow for new things, new thoughts, new dreams to come up. And so I would encourage you to grab a notebook or an index card, a post-it will do. Start small and ask yourself, what do I really want? What do I want to experience in 2021? It is really challenging to allow yourself to have an optimistic and positive and fulfilling thought and idea and vision about your future. And I would say that Without vision, we perish. We cannot control our circumstances. We can only control our choices. And so if you can allow yourself to choose to vision for yourself and your family and your community and our country and our globe, something bigger than what we've just been through and are still going through, I would venture to say that it will make a difference that it would actually empower and in, ignite you in a way that is inspiring to others, which is why I do these videos. I do them because I believe that if at least one person could join me in that conversation, if I got a call from you um, and you told me about what you're visioning for yourself for 2021, just the fact that you dare to do that when we are kind of being inundated with all kinds of other things that are so anti-vision at the moment. I would be empowered. I would feel like, wow, there's just at least one other person doing this. And I know there's so many more of us. So 
allow yourself to reconnect with your purpose, with your vision. And if you're in a place right now where you feel that is sounding like the most impossible thing I could possibly do. The last video I did was about gratitude and about the quality of being thankful. So if you feel like I'm not really sure what the vision about, why don't we try to go back to that quality, the texture of at least one thing you can be thankful for. Trace it back. Ask yourself, why am I grateful for that? How does that make me feel? I want more of that. And what would it look like to have more of that feeling, more of that gratitude in my life? That is one place to start. The other place to start is to just ask. Ask a friend, ask a coach, ask me. How do I begin to vision for my future? I hope this is encouraging to you. I know that vision in a time of difficulties um, is a really big ask. I also know it is the most important thing you can do this month with your time, with your thoughts, the way you orient yourself, what you pay attention to. It will and does make a difference. I'm so grateful for you for listening and I'm grateful for you as a partner and an ally um, in these kinds of conversations um, because I think when we do this, we become better. We become better versions of ourselves. And when you and I, when we are better versions of ourselves, we create better lives and better communities and better outcomes. And that is really what's most exciting to me about this work. Thank you so much. I love to hear your comments and your questions and your ideas. I'll see you next time. Happy December. Happy visioning.